getting to know the K's and K's elegance. The K's and K's elegance came from my name, of course. My name is Kiana. It's spelled K-I-Y-O-N-N-A. It can be pronounced Kiana, but it's not. It's pronounced Kiana. Um, my name came from my sister, who for some reason decided to put a, a I and a Y together. But like I said, it's pronounced Kiana, not Kiana. No other way, but Kiana. So the next question I got was my age, what's my son, and what year I was born. So I was born July 2nd, 2000. So I'm a 2000s baby, period. Which means, of course, I'm 20 years old and I'm a cancer. Um, A lot of people, you feel me, y'all gonna bang with a cancer regardless. So it really don't even matter. Um, Some people think cancers are like, we like the ocean. Sometimes we up, sometimes we down. Um, I like to be up, though. I ain't gonna hose you. But sometimes I be down, too. Um, people always ask me, like, why are my eyes so chinky? Um, next thing that follows, am I high? No, I'm not. <laughs> my eyes are naturally chinky. Um, another question people always ask me is, are the reason my eyes so low? Because my lashes are heavy. No, my lashes are not heavy. My eyes are just naturally chinky. And what I mean by chinky is like low, like small. Um, my grandfather has like a little bit of Asian in him. So I guess it kind of trickled down to me. And my father has like really small eyes too. But I am not high, <laughs> I promise. Here's your picture with me, no lashes, no makeup. So the next question is where am I from? I'm from Maryland. I'm not really from we ain't gonna get into no specific parts. I'm from Maryland. Um the next question is where do I fall in line of my siblings? First of all, I have five siblings. I have four sisters and one brother. I'm the youngest, I'm the fifth child, and I'm twenty, so that says a lot. The next question I got is where do I go to school and where do I work? I don't really feel like that's necessary to say. Um, but I do work full-time hours and I go to school part-time and then I also do K's Elegance. So I'm always booked. I'm always busy. I'm always doing something. I'm a busy body. I have to be doing stuff. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, that's what I choose to do. enrolled as a double major for psychology and criminal justice. Um, doing a bachelor's for both fields, which is very tiring. I'm always tired. Like I said, I also work full-time hours. So, it, like, it's rough, but it ain't that bad because I choose to do it. So, if it was that bad, I would stop, right? Um, I go to school basically to track serial killers, murderers, stuff like that. People always oh. see me and be like, I don't see you doing that. Are you sure you really want to do it? All people see with me is, like, the lashes, the nails, the sparkles, the glitter, all that stuff. But I actually do. Well, I know what I'm doing, but it's okay. Um, another question is, where did K's Elegance come from and why did I start? K's Elegance actually came from when I was in the 11th grade in cosmetology school. I did cosmetology while I was still in high school. I actually went to Carlson High School, so if y'all know that where that is at, go ahead and drop that down. But I did that while I was in high school, and one of our pro like projects was to you know, build a salon and blah, blah, blah. What would you name it? How would you handle it? And Kay's Elegance was the salon name that I was going to do. I actually have a brochure and I'll show y'all So that. this is the brochure that I was talking about. Kay's Elegance. Um, I don't remember when I did this. I just know it was like 11th grade year. For some reason, look at this bullshit. I gotta be careful. Excuse my eyebrows. It's been a long day. I'm tired. After this, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to edit and then go to sleep. So, that means keep y'all calm to yourself. Okay. Um, Why I started it? I started K's Elegance because... I don't know. I just said I wanted to do it and I did it. I'm really that type of person. Like, I'm honestly that spontaneous to the point where, like, let's say I want to go to the mall or I want to go get some ice cream and I'll come back home with a tattoo. Did that too. I inserted a clip of that too. But yeah, I'm really that person that just be like, why not?
I'm really in that person that believes if you don't do something that you set your mind out to do, why even think about it? Like, yeah, I work a nine to five, but I also do K's elegance. I also go to school. I make myself have options because failing in life is never an option for me. Being a failure is not it <laughs> at all. It can never. I'm not going to say it can never, Lord Jesus. But I'm just saying, for me, it's enough. Why do I... um? Why are my lashes so long? My lashes aren't long to me. They're 25 mm. Um, they're not too bad. I also sell like 15 to 18 mm. I'm trying to get more lengths because people are picky. But mm -hmm. just to give everybody a variety. But for me, in my personal choice, I like 25 mm. 30 is a little too long for my everyday. But I will wear 30 if I go out. I wore 30 for New Year's Eve one year. I think I have a picture of that too. But I'm not selling those, so don't even add. I actually might get a couple pair of 30 for like New Year's. Um, See how that go. But... Other than that, I'm not selling a 30 mm. Period. Um, the next question I got for y'all is, what was my first car? So my first car is a 2019 Nissan Versa. Um, it's a nice car. It's just small. It's very small. Um, like I said, I'm a I want what I want person. So literally. I think I, let's say I got my provisionals on a Monday. By Friday, I bought a car. So, that was the car that was available. That's what I had the money for. And we'll do a car vlog and how I got that car and all that stuff later. Um, but like I said, yeah. Um, for some reason, I always gravitate towards light-skinned dreadheads, the little hood boys, stuff like that. But I know in my heart of hearts that I'm supposed to be with a brown skin man because I want a little chocolate baby. That's just my preference. I want a chocolate baby. Um, light skin baby's good because, you know, look at me. But I do prefer to have a chocolate baby. Whatever God gives me is what God gives me. But chocolate babies is the way to go. For me, personally, like I say, keep your comments to yourself because you will get blocked. I'm that, I'm that person. It is what are my hobbies i don't have any hobbies like soccer and basketball and stuff like that i don't do stuff like that um probably my nails too long for that y'all see how long my nails is too long for that so personally i like to go i like shopping i like trips um we'll do a little video about trips too i like stuff like that i don't all that other stuff is beyond me i'm be i'm be 100 percent. that's beyond me i ain't doing none of that um, all that running and shit like that. <laughs> it's not for me. It's not. Um, the question that I always yeah. get is, why is my hair pink? Um, I was going through like a little phase or something. Honestly, my hair was pink back in like 2017, 2018. But it was only pink for like a week because it was ugly on me. Or I felt like it was ugly. Because back then, I don't feel like I had the confidence that I do now. I know I didn't for a fact. Because, baby, <laughs> the way I step out, you can never. Anywho, um, I don't know if y'all can tell, my wall is pink. Like, I was, like, half my closet is pink. I was literally in, like, a Barbie doll pink phase. My lash boxes are pink. I'm going to show y'all those, too. But my lash boxes are pink. Everything is pink. Am I getting tired of pink? A little bit. Just a little bit, but baby, pink is pink. Um, I feel like pink is so vibrant and it's so, like, can't be done by everybody. If pink is, like, my pink personality as the color is how I describe my personality in my head. I can't explain it to y'all, but pink is me. Right now, it's looking a little dingy because I need a shampoo. But um, I insert some pictures of my actual hair, what it looks like, and what I look like when I'm not oily and busted and tired and stuff like that um my last question that i got was am i bougie or am i ratchet all right you cute or whatever girl God, you got i don't feel like i'm bougie or ratchet i'm being honest with you um people call me bougie because i have standards that's it. 
I don't have super high standards. I don't have stuff like that. Like, you don't have to be driving the Benz in order to have a conversation with me. That's not what I'm saying. But you do need to know how to talk to me. Because I'm evolving as a person. For those of you who don't know me or have never met me, I'm evolving as a person. But I'm not all the way evolved. So, you need to talk to me nice. <laughs> yeah, talk to me nice. Because I ain't to the point in my life where I ain't going to react. So, I say having standards does not mean that you're bougie. It doesn't mean that you're playing hard to get. It doesn't mean none of that. It just means that you carry yourself at a certain point or a certain pedestal, however you want to explain it. And motherfuckers need to reach it. I don't care if you got a crime. I don't care if you got a height. But you need to get to where I think you need to be in my head. And if you can't, you get left. Some people, I just had that conversation not too long ago. Some people don't like that. I don't care. You will get blocked. Baby, I block bitches in real life. So. Once again, mommy, if you're hearing this. Sorry. Um, But nah, I stopped blocking people. If you're blocked, if I blocked you and you're watching this, you're unblocked now. So go ahead and hit my phone. It's okay. So that's where the ratchet comes out at. Um, my sister literally calls me little baby ratchet just because my temper is like zero to five thousand. So fast for nothing. And I'm working on it. I really am because I'm too pretty to be out here fighting. I'm too I spend way too much money on my nails. I would spend way too much money on lashes on how to carry myself just so I can brand myself. It's too much. I don't need to be out here in the streets doing anything, having people speak on me about anything. Now with that being said, like I said, I'm evolving. I haven't evolved. Which means sometimes people say things that catch me the wrong way. You might get hit. You might not. Never know. But all that being said, y'all didn't learn everything y'all gonna know about me for now. If y'all have any specific questions, of course, just leave the comments below. Um, like I said, any negative people will get blocked. Like I said, I'm evolving. I haven't evolved. Keep playing with me if you want to. But everybody else, positivity makes the world go round. You know, you live and learn. Um, for real, like, comment, subscribe, and follow my Instagram because y'all be doing so much. But. Mm -hmm.